Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning. This is the day the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We just think and we praise God for another day, a day that we've never seen before. We just think and we praise God for everyone having a blessed Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. But to the believers, we know that every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we just think and praise God that the world even set aside a day to yeah. recognize and yeah, thank yeah. God for yeah. his goodness and his mercy and his yeah. grace. Friendship. Hallelujah. We just thank you and we just praise God for you. Good to see you on today. Facebook. Um, telephone lines, hallelujah, this is a praise team, nothing about us, it's all about Jesus, we're going to go into a short word of prayer, then we're going to do a selection, and we will move out of your way, in the name Amen. of Jesus, Amen. let every heart um, come before God, and let us bow our heads, but before we do that, we just want to say, let's just lift up our bereavement families, in the Jesus. name of Jesus, let's just lift up our sick, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, just to thank you, God. We praise your holy and righteous name, oh God. Yes. We lift your name up on high, my God. Yes, my Lord. God, you are worthy of all the praises, all the glory, and all the honor. The glory belongs to you, God. The glory belongs to you. The glory belongs to you, God. Yes. The glory belongs to you. So we give you the glory on today. God, we thank you for how you keeping us doing a, a pandemic, oh God. Oh, how yes. you're keeping us doing coronavirus, oh God. Hallelujah. Because we could have been dead sleeping in our grave. But you made old death stand back and behave, oh God. Oh, yes. God, we thank you because you are the very air that we breathe, oh God. You are the wind in our lungs, oh God. Oh, yes. In this oh, yes. time of the pandemic when so many folks are not able to breathe. Hallelujah. So we thank you, oh God, just for the praise, very praise, breath praise, that we have in our body. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus over our bodies. We plead the blood of Jesus over this church. We plead the blood of Jesus over your family. We plead the blood of Jesus over your children. It is the blood, the blood, the blood, the same blood. Where Jesus went to Calvary over 2,000 years ago. And when he was crucified, he rose on the third day. And he got up with all power in his hand. Power, hallelujah, to tread on the serpent head. Power, oh God, to cast out demons, hallelujah. Power to drink of deadly things and it would not do any harm to you. Hallelujah. The same power that he extended to us, oh God, because we know that we have power because God has given us the power. Oh, we thank you, oh God, for the man of God today who's going to break bread, oh God, who's going to bring us a rhema word, a word that will cut sin left and right. Glory be to God. What somebody might say, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? What must I do to be saved? The Bible declared, the Bible, the Bible declared, if I believe in my heart, confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ has risen from the dead that thou shalt be saved. And we thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, for blessing our first lady, O oh God. No weapon form against her shall prosper. Every tongue that rises in the judgment shall be condemned. We thank you, O oh God, for blessing the family. We thank you, O oh God, for blessing our family as well. We thank you, O oh God, for blessing our children, O oh God. Keeping our children safe, O oh God. Keeping their minds stayed on you, O oh God. Hallelujah, God, we just bless your name. We can't praise you enough for Oh God, God, we know that our weapon of warfare is not caught but mighty through God, through the pulling down of the stronghold. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We cast out every spirit of imagination. We cast out every spirit of intimidation, oh God, and bringing it into obedience and the captivity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Glory be to God for principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory be to God, hallelujah. That's why we have to put on the whole arm of God so that we might be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. So we might be able to fight because this is spiritual warfare that we are in. Glory be to God, we bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. God, we thank you for how you're healing our body. You said in your word, oh God, that you were wounded for our transgression. You were bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by your stripes, God, we are healed. By your stripes, God, we are healed. We claim healing in the name of Jesus. We claim deliverance in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We claim salvation in our mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Tired of coming out here one way and leaving the same, oh God. So we are claiming salvation right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, send your power. 
send your Holy Ghost power on today, oh God, that somebody might be saved in your name, Jesus. God, we just ask you to continue to bless this world, oh God. Continue to bless our administrators, oh God, locally, nationally, oh God. Continue to bless, hallelujah, the current administration. Bless the president, oh God. Bless the president-elect, oh God, and all of his cabinet, oh God. Let them know, oh God, that they've got to do the things that are pleasing in your sight, hallelujah. Oh God, we show our blessing, we show our blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. And oh God, let all of them take a bow. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lord, kings of kings, the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is soon to come. We bless your name, God. We claim victory in the mighty, miraculous name in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God, the one who we call by name of position, we ask you to bless them anyhow. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus. Jesus. He is your blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. And he's worthy.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Welcome to Friendship United Methodist Church worship service. Uh, we thank you for joining us this morning. This is certainly the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has ordained for us to be in his presence in worship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He didn't have to do it, but he did. I said he didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. Yes. The Lord watched over us during this uh, Thanksgiving season. Yes, he did. He brought families together, and we, we thank God for allowing us to be here. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. He has given us one more Thanksgiving. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We don't know what tomorrow will look like. We don't know what next Thanksgiving will look like. But we give him praise right now. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is in his holy temple and all the earth keeps silent before him as we proceed with worship. Uh, let us all sing together. There's a song. Praise God. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm sure everybody know that song. Praise God. Let us sing it together if you will. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Come on, y'all help me sing. This little light of mine your light shines. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. God's light is shining on us. Let our light shine. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come again just to say thank you, Lord, for allowing us to still be on this side. Uh, Father God, we are breathing this morning. You didn't pull the plug during the course of our sleep. Thank you, Jesus. And for that, Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, you have been so good to us. Yes, you brought us through the Thanksgiving season. Thank you, Lord. 
We fellowship with family members. We shared laughters. We shared tears. But, oh, God, we want to thank you, Lord, for one more Thanksgiving season. Yes, Lord. And, oh, God, we look to the hills from where our help cometh. Yes. We are depending on you, God, to permit us to see Thanksgiving in the future. Yes. Now, Lord, as we set the tone for worship, we pray, oh, God, that you bless those who are already here. And we pray for those who are still traveling. Give them traveling mercy, O oh God, as they return to their homes. And we bless this day. We bless this worship service, O oh God. O oh God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Let the saints of God say praise the Lord. Let the saints say hallelujah. Let the saints shout glory. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, all ye saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Yes, it is. Saints of God, I'm going to ask the choir to sing another selection for us, and then I will read a passage of scripture. Do we have any announcements? Today is Advent. I'm not certain whether the worship committee are prepared to. Oh, yes, we are. Praise God. Hallelujah. After the, the, the uh, scripture reading, then we will, we will go forward with the Advent candles. Amen? Amen. I don't know who's in charge or who's responsible, but whoever you are, just be prepared after reading of the scripture. Choir, sing for us now, if you will. And if we have any announcements, uh, we will do the announcements after the lighting of the Advent candles. Any announcements, please uh, make them known to Pastor James or Sister Crystal. Sing for us quiet. Oh, yes. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior.
glory. Let the church say amen. amen. Thank you, praise team. God bless you. God bless you. Now, if you will, turn with me to Psalm 121. Praise God. That passage just came in my spirit just now. Let's turn to Psalm 121. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. I will be reading for your hearings the entire uh, chapter. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Beginning at the first verse. I'm reading from the New Revised King James Version. <clears throat> I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be burned nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. Yes. yes, he is. The Lord is your shade at your yes. right hand. Yes, sir. The sun should not strike you by day, yes. nor the moon by night. Yes. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Yes. He shall preserve your soul. Yes, sir. He shall preserve your soul. Yes, sir. The Lord shall preserve your going out yes, and your coming in. From this time forth, and even forevermore. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Have any announcements? If not, we will go straight to the Advent candle. Well, I just want to thank you all for your worship this morning, and I pray and trust that all of you had a wonderful thanksgiving praise god amen, we, it amen. was a time to fellowship with families and friends and praise god god has allowed us to celebrate another thanksgiving amen, amen. praise god and how many of you are looking forward to the next one yes. hallelujah yes. somebody say many more, many more. hallelujah amen. praise amen. god praise the lord thank you jesus uh, after we uh, praise God, light the candles, then we will lift the offering. Amen? Amen. Praise God. I don't know who's in charge, but whoever you are, you may come forth now and bless us with the Advent candles. of Advent, the gift of hope. The unbreakable gift for this first Sunday of Advent is the gift of hope. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the season of Advent and the gift of hope. Help us to prepare our hearts for your coming and to remember the true meaning of Christmas. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Somebody say Advent. Advent. Hallelujah. This is the season of Jesus' first coming. Praise God. We want to thank the worship committee along with Sister Pearl and Brother Sammy. God bless you all for the Advent candle and the reading. Let us lift the offering at this time. Praise God. And I just again want to thank you for your, your, your kind hearts, your giving spirit. Ushers, you may... As Come by, dear my Lord. Come by, dear. Come by, dear my Lord. Come by.
say glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give God a way of praise. Give God a way of praise, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. church say amen. amen thank you Jesus thank you Lord sadly to announce sister Ernestine Morris we all have heard she passed away her service will be on Wednesday I was told at 1 p.m. Uh, will be a graveside service. I'm not sure which cemetery, but I'm sure you will get the information. Let us keep the family in our prayers. Amen. Amen. And also, I just got word that Sister Pearl. Brother Pearl. Brother? Brother Pearl. Brother Pearl. Pardon me. Pardon me. Okay, it's Hurl? Yes, sir. Brother Hurl. Just got the word that Brother Hurl Neesmith passed away. Let us keep the family in our prayers. Amen. Saints of God, we don't know the day nor the hours, but the family really needs you at this time. So let us call if you don't visit. I understand due to the coronavirus. But let us show our support. Yes, sir. And not only that, I visited Sister Austin, Sister Bailey Austin. Uh, praise God and let us keep her in our prayers as well. Things can happen so quickly. Yes, sir. Amen. Here today, saints of God, and gone tomorrow. Yes, Here this hour and gone the next. Right. Here this minute and gone the next. Amen. So let us keep the families in our prayers and also let us pray for all the names on the sick list please keep those people in your prayers could have been me could have been you saints of God and also let's pray for those on the prayer list oh God hallelujah saints we have reason to praise God you hear me we have all the reasons to worship God he has given us another day Another day to enjoy his presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. My daughter was in an accident, praise God, on Tuesday evening. But uh, she is she's fine. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? One of those Tuesdays, I think it was. Uh, keep her in your prayers. Yes, um, took laws to call, but she's fine. God is good. Let me tell you something. God is good. God is good all the time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When I got the word, saints of God, I jumped in my car and I drove to Spartanburg. That was my baby. You know, it hurts. But only God knows best. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. We got to trust him like we have never trusted him before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We want to thank the choir for their wonderful selection, their song this morning. Praise God. 
Saints of God, I've come this morning. I'm not prepared to preach the word, but I'm prepared to hear the word. Uh, praise God. Um, I've asked uh, Minister James Presley to uh, preach this morning. Uh, about two months ago, uh, Minister Presley came to me and he shared his story with me, his ministry story. He was born and raised right in this church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise yes, God. Amen. Yes, Amen. Born and raised right in Friendship United Methodist Church. Yes, uh, he ventured into another area. He pastored a church for a few years. Praise God. And he said the Spirit led him back to Friendship. And I believe in my heart, this is where God wants him and this is where God needs him right now. So he has expressed his concerns about moving forward into the ministry of the United Methodist Church. Uh, not only in the United Methodist Church, but he has expressed his concerns moving forward, preaching the gospel wherever the God, the Lord sends him. Amen. Amen. So saints of God, I am so proud to, to be a part of Friendship United Methodist Church where there are great people, great ministers, lay servants, lay leaders, and Minister Green, pardon me, Minister Presley is married to his lovely wife, Sister Eve Presley. Uh, together they have 12 children. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they only have three. God bless them. Amen. Amen. And I am looking forward to hearing Minister Presley. Yes, the reason for this, uh, he will be going up. Well, we will follow the discipline. There is a there is a strategy that we must follow to approve him as a local pastor or approve him to go forward under the board of ordained ministry. So I need to hear him speak to make sure he's preaching sound doctrine, which I have no doubt. I'm sure he's preaching God's word. But once we have hear, heard him preach, then we will go through the proper procedures. Amen. Amen, amen. Saints of God, the next voice after this election will be that of Minister Presley. Put your hands together for this great young man. Amen.
Amen. Giving honor to our Lord and Savior, yes. Yes. Jesus the Christ, who yes. is the head of all of our lives. Yes. And yes. Giving honor to my wonderful pastor, yes. 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 Pastor James. Uh, he's been very instrumental and very uplifting in putting me to work. I... <laughs> I've been trying to run for some time since I've been back home, but he's not having none of that. He's not having none of that, and he is pushing me forward. He said, you, you can't sit on the sidelines no more. You know, it's good to have a pastor that supports you. Amen. Amen. It's good to have him. Pastor that supports you. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. I'm not going to even begin to call names because everybody here is connected to me. Amen. Well, preacher, if I don't hear you, I said, everybody here is, is connected to me. Preacher, what you talking about? See, I didn't hear that about everybody's house. I, I, I done got a couple of aunts and cousins that give me a beating, but I thank God for those beats right now because it brought me over and brought me to where I am now. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Amen, amen. We thank God for... You know, a lot of people say they don't have but one mother, and I had one and she gone on, but I got another mother out here. Amen. 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 And we thank God for her. And yes, God. Thank God for, for Sister Pearl All right. Presley. She at my mama's funeral. All right. We were in the office, and she said, Now, well, dear, now you know your mama said you've been coming back home. <laughs> She gone on it, and it's time for you to come on back home. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I told her I was coming. The Lord led me to come back. I've been fighting it for a while, but we thank God for what he did. Yes, Amen. We thank God for my, my uncle and aunt, my grand, my godfather, Cleveland Presley, who, who uh, who was the first person I ever heard that was saved? All right. And I said, Well, God, me and my Godfather saved, I got to do something. Hey, hey, Amen. And we thank God for Brother Booger T. Yes, who didn't let them put me off the bus. When I was acting up and I was out there in the world, didn't know no better, he, he didn't let them put me off the bus. We thank God for him. Amen, amen. Amen. And, and I can't forget Sister Mary Presley. She didn't call for that. Thank God for you being hard on my wife because you, you made her right for me. Amen. She taught my wife in elementary school. Amen. Amen. 
Okay, now we got that out the way. <laughs> Amen. We got all of that out the way. Amen. Yeah, well, our word will be coming from the gospel according to Matthew. Matthew, the 16th chapter, verses 13 through 17. Amen. 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 Verses 13 through 17. Amen. Uh, I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. And I, I got my tablet, y'all. They ain't telling me what to preach, but it's just the scripture here. Amen. 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 The rest of it comes from God. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Amen. Amen. And it reads, and it reads. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, say, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, others said Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. Yay, come on. He said unto them, but whom do you say that I am? Yay. And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed art thou. Simon of Bonjono, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Amen. Hey, we go. Deal with those scriptures. Amen. For thought or a subject or a theme, did you get the announcement? Did you get the announcement? These days we get announcements in different ways right now we have search engines and social media to get the word out yes, sir. Go ahead, Come on, man. but I'm talking about a word that came out over 2,000 years ago Come on, brother. Yes, what I'm talking about is that Jesus is alive yes, and well ahead, right. did you get yes, the announcement did you get the announcement that we don't have to live in our sin no more. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, preach. Because he went to Calvary on our behalf. Yes, sir. Did you get the announcement? Yes, sir. I, I was listening and, and, and we began to they began to read off that such and such has passed away and, and this one is sick and that one is sick. Jesus said that he was coming back again. Yes, he did. Yes, did you get the announcement? Yes, now you can't get the announcement any kind of way. You have to be born again. If you're not born again, there is no way that you can get that Jesus is alive and well, that Jesus is the Son of God. There is no way that you can get it if you are not born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. Did you get the announcement? I'm reminded that during that day, Noah got the announcement. But many didn't get the announcement. For they laughed at Noah. You building a boat and it ain't never rained before. You building a boat and we ain't here for nothing. Noah preached the same message for years and they turned a deaf ear. Pastor James been preaching. The message and people turn a deaf ear. They didn't get the message. But when the enemy show up at your doorstep, when death shows up at your doorstep, what are you gonna do? Because you're gonna need to call on somebody. You're gonna need to call on Jesus. Don't get to know when trouble time, know before trouble comes. Preacher, what you talking? Well, I, I read in the scripture where there was a centurion that got the, the announcement. All right. That's right. He said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come to my house, but if you speak a word, my daughter shall be healed. All right, now. And the Bible said that in that very same hour, he was revealing and he was healed. And Jesus said that I, I hadn't seen such faith. Not even all of Israel. I hadn't seen this faith. 
Because he got the announcement. He got the announcement that healing was coming forth. He got the announcement that deliverance was coming forth. He got the announcement that he could be set free out of bondage. Yes. But did you get the announcement? See, we got the power on the inside of us to do it right now. See, we got to watch what we say. When you feel with the Holy Ghost, you got to watch what you say. Because what comes out of this mouth, you speaking it in the atmosphere. You giving angels charge to do what you say to them. Preacher, what are you talking about? Well, when the doctor tell you I got bad news. Uh-huh. It's not a good report. We find cancer in your intestines. And then you begin to say, oh, I'm going to die. You're going to die because you say I'm going to die. But my Bible said I can speak those things as though they were. That I'm healed. For his stripes I'm healed. He bad my iniquity. He took my sins to the cross. Did you get the announcement? <laughs> Did you get the announcement? What you talking about? See, if you want to start homemade business, say, I'm going to be prosperous. Speaking in the atmosphere. That I'm going to change this world. The change going to start on the inside of me. What are you talking about? Because all things, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when Christ strengthens you, you got power, you got anointing, you got his glory, you got his word, you got it living on the inside. And then you can walk in healing, and you can walk in deliverance, you can walk in prosperity. The enemy got to get out your house, he can't stay there because the power of God is on the inside. Did you get the announcement? Did you get the announcement? Yeah. See, God is not pleased with a lot of the things that we do. He's not pleased. Because we allow the world to come into the church. We have allowed the world to change us. And we are supposed to change the world. See, the world is supposed to come to the church for direction. Not the church going to the world for direction. Because we are his people. And we are called by his name. A royal priesthood. We are royal priesthood. We belong to the God. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So if it's full of him, it's ours. Why are we taking a back seat? What happened is you ain't studying your word. Come on, preacher. You ain't looking at Bible study. You ain't praying. You ain't fasting. You ain't being obedient. That's why the enemy running havoc at your house. That's why the enemy messing with you at your job. Because you ain't got no power. You ain't got no authority. You ain't got his glory. He the truth ain't in you. And you wanted well, why you having such a problem. Because you ain't getting the announcement. See, we give the enemy too much credit. In the book of Genesis, when God cursed the serpent, he said that we were going to bruise his head with our foot, right? But he was going to wound our heel. He was going to wound our heel. But we was going to step on his head. So he was beneath us, right? 
But that's why we ain't living in, in authority. That's why we ain't living in victory. Because the enemy, we done step on his, his head, and he done come and wrapped up around our leg. And now he done moving on up to our thigh. Now he on our wayside. He poisoning our system. What are you talking about, preacher? See, he done got us lying a little bit. He done got us uh, 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 accepting things that are not true. And he just continued to grow on us. And then all of a sudden, he done got to your spirit, man, which is in your yeah. belly. Yeah. And now he done contaminate you, and you start to call right wrong and call wrong right. Because you didn't get the announcement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, Jesus was asking his disciple this for a reason. Who do you say I am? I ain't talking about grandma. I ain't talking about auntie. I ain't talking about cousin. But who do you say that I am? And because he want to know you because he want to know personally how what you think. If you don't know him as your God, if you don't know him as your Savior, then you can't say that he's the son of the living God. Come on, come on, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, my God, my God. Because you, you are a son and a daughter of the underfellow. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. See, that's why you can't know who Jesus is. Jesus, Because you working with the underfellow. Come on. You got no rabbit tails and you got that dust in your pocketbook. You got them horseshoe around your house. I'm just telling the truth. Come on, preacher. You believe more witchcraft than you believe in the scripture. Oh, somebody got something on me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you get the announcement? See. We be so happy to hear somebody get married. You get invited to a birthday party. We happy to hear that stuff. But we ain't happy to hear somebody got saved. We ain't happy to hear somebody got delivered. We ain't happy to see somebody get saved. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you get the announcement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you get the announcement? Yes, sir. <laughs> the announcement is the scriptures. Yes, sir. Go ahead, my man. And if you're not born again, yes, sir. with this coronavirus going on, if you're not born again, Jesus. come on, Jesus. where are you going to spend your eternal life? Jesus. Where? Where are you going to go? Jesus. Ain't no such thing. It's no in between. Come on, That's right. It's either up or down. And, and pastor, they can't get don't get no bedtime salvation. That's on the deathbed. You you trying to get saved on your deathbed? How you gonna do that? And you got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. The doctor tell you you got three days to live, and, and you trying to get it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you trying to get right when you know deaf angel there. Now you think God gonna listen to you when deaf angel there? Huh? See when see people don't understand deaf angel changed sides. When Jesus got up off the cross, he started working for Jesus. Now he no longer worked for the enemy. Jesus tell them who to go get. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't ready, church, if you ain't ready, see, I got to tell it because I got a responsibility. I got to sleep tonight. I got to sleep tonight now. If I don't tell y'all the way it is, I can't rest. Because God can deal with me. Ain't that right, Pastor? Come on, preachers. Make it plain. See, you trying to get it right. When you had all this time, all this time, young people, let me explain something to you too because I can't leave you out. 
All these songs y'all listening to? All the stuff y'all listen to on the internet, mm. all the stuff y'all seeing, that thing is embedded in your spirit. Come on now. You, under, you, can't, you don't understand why you be disrespecting to your mom and daddy. Hey. Because you don't got that junk in you. And you ain't know where it's coming from. Come on now. I know that's right. I know that's right. Hallelujah. See, I didn't understand. When mom and daddy and auntie and auntie and cousins been so hard on me. Jeez. Pastor, I didn't understand. Yes, sir, I know that's right. But what they were doing is trying to protect me from myself. Yes, sir. You got that right. Yes, sir. They done been down that road. Yes, sir. That's right. But see, I'm running to that road. And I can't see the potholes, but they know where the potholes is. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. That's a good one. So I go in a deep, uh, and I hit a pothole, I'm going to mess my car. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That's right. But the older ones know how to duck the bottom. Come on, preacher. Because they've been there. Yes, sir, brother. Huh? Yes, sir. They ain't get old. They ain't come out their mama room saved. They ain't come out their mama room speaking in tongues. Right. They had to go through some stuff. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. So they telling you not to mess up where they messed up. They telling you not to make the mistake they made. See, when mama tell you that skirt too short, it too short. Preacher, what are you talking Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep it brief. That skirt too short because it's going to attract the wrong attention. Young man, when, when daddy say pull your pants up, pull your pants up. See, the enemy has attacked our families. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Trying to make it's okay to have two mamas. It's okay to have two dads. Oh. That devil is a lie and the truth ain't hit them. Say so. Say so. Because they ain't getting the announcement, Pastor. That's right. That's right. Preacher, what are you talking about? This gay and lesbian movement? That's abomination. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. That's all it is. It's people confused. God knew what he made you. What are you talking about? He knew you in your mother's womb. So he knows. He know. And you think, oh, I like women. I'm a woman and I like women. That's a lie. I was born that way. No, you wasn't. That's what you accepted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preacher, what are you talking about? Because you sat there and you put all that junk in you. In your system. Come on now. You were singing these songs. Yeah. You were looking at this stuff on YouTube. Oh. And it done got in your spirit. Yeah. And it done twisted for what God said you are. And then when it twisted, it comes with a curse. And when it comes with a curse, curse, <laughs> in the book of James, it say, when sin becomes full grown, it bring it forth death. And then you're on your deathbed, you don't know how you got there. Because you didn't get the announcement. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the announcement. Mm -hmm. Pray. My strength yes. in the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Tell the world that Jesus lives. Tell the world. Tell the world.
special blessing we ask that you if you want God to do something for you get out your car to stand by your car amen and stand by your car amen see in order for God to do things for you I know there's a song that says that if you make one step, he'll make two. Amen. Yes. Amen. I know that's right. There's a song that say that. That's what the song say now. Yes, <laughs> but that's the thing. That's not scripture. <laughs> that's not scripture. There ain't nowhere in the scripture you'll find. Nowhere in the scripture you'll find if you make one step. He'll make two. But the scripture does say obedience is better than sacrifice. The scripture always say that by the faith of a mustard seed. Y'all that plant, y'all know mustard seed real small. And if you've got that kind of faith, God will do what you need him to do. I can't tell you what you need. Only you know what you need. If you need a healing, you start talking healing. In the book of Isaiah, it says, For his stripes we are healed. The next thing is, we need to be, we, we shouldn't be poor. The Bible said now, just say what, just say what I say. The Bible said he give us power to gain wealth. That's what the scripture did. Ain't that me? Ain't that right, Pastor? Whatever you have, take it to God. Take it to God. We got to understand the purpose of the doctors. Go ahead, the doctors are here to give us specific things to pray for. Yes, sir. That's all. Specific things to pray for. Yes, and if you go to the doctor, remember he can't tell you nothing, but he got to ask you some questions. Yes, he got to tell. He got to ask you the symptoms. Yes, so he got to get information from you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it's again your people come. Through no strength of our own, God. But we trust in you. Yes. God, we have the faith of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. And we are believing what your word says. Yes, that if we put it before you, that if we say to this mountain, be cast into the sea, then it shall happen. 
God, you give us so many examples in your word of how you brought your people out. And God, we are no different. We need a Savior. We need you to bring us out. We need you to save us. We need you to heal our body. We need you to touch our loved ones. We need you to bless our children. God, we need you to turn around this virus. We are reaching out from the depths of our hearts and we are looking for results that you said we shall have. So we should be the head and not the tail, the lid and not the bottom. But we should walk in your power and in your anointing and in your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Just a little more of that song. He made it way. The one you just sung. Come on, just sing. Give me a little more of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Has he ever made a way, saints? Has he ever made a way for you? Come on, give God a way of praise right now. Come on, give him a way of praise. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Softly, softly. Friendship, God loves you. Members, God loves you. Visitors and friends, God loves you. Never forget the God who created you, the one who rebirthed you, the one who saved your soul. The one who drives you in the spirit when you when you're out there on the highways all by yourself. I dare you to think that you drive that automobile. It's the inner man, Jesus the Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Saints of God, is there one who wanna join this church this morning? Come forward. Is there one who wanna join this church family this morning? Come forward. Maybe you want to give your life to Christ. Maybe you want to give your heart to Christ. Come forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory. As we leave this place, let us continue to pray for the bereaved families. Pray for those who are in the hospital. Pray for the sick list, the prayer list. It could have been you, saints of God. It could have been me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we receive the benediction, I pray that 
I pray that your your soul was fed softly, softly I must give credit where credit is due Minister Presley you preached the core of the gospel you were very radical with that message I'm glad y'all know him See, had I preached that, some of you would, would, would have left here being angry with the pastor. But I'm glad you know him. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, some folks don't love to hear the, the truth. Some folks don't want to hear where they are in their sin. But I'm glad the Lord sent him to tell his family members about him. Glory. Hallelujah. Let us receive the benediction at this time. Praise team. God bless you. We thank you all for singing this morning. God bless you. Father God, we come now to say thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you, Father God, for the messenger. Thank you, God, for the word that cuts like a two-edged sword. Thank you, Father God, for James Presley. You have used him, and oh God, use him mightily. Oh, Father God, use him to your glory. And now, Lord, we will leave this place, but never, ever your presence. Bless us going out and coming in. Bless those who are in worship this morning, God. Give us a new heart. Change our minds. In Jesus' name, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you all this week. May the Lord be with you until your final day on earth. May the Lord continue to bless your life and your family and may the Lord feed you daily. May the Lord lift you up when you're down. May the Lord heal your body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now come on, give the Lord some praise and let's rejoice in the Lord.